because I know what it means. Forget about uh, all the horrible things about these criminals. I wanted the news to be true. So if any of you have found it that uh, it is actually working, I would love to broadcast, I mean, broadcast that here. Because there are lives at stake in that place. It's lives that you can't really use for political cloud like these guys are doing. I remember yesterday I was saying that I hope, I mean, I, mean, I hope that uh, we are not judging quickly. I really, really want this to be true. It's not. It is similar to every, it's similar to every uh, other things this liar said. In order to stop the protest in Nigeria, that is already gaining momentum. I'm talking about in the next uh, couple of days, you are going to hear tribalized protest, religionized, I mean, sorry, uh, religio, religionized uh, protest. They receive rhetoric here and there. And for now, they are doing their best to say, okay, if people say they are hungry, then we'll give them food. Now, you see that misinformation minister actually had a presser where he delivers some lies and they are all effort to say, see if Numbu is trying to, to stop your hardship. No, they are not. He said they have sent a 2020 truck, 20 trucks of rice. How many bags of rice do you have uh, in a truck? I think it is uh, 1,200 or is it 600 bags? I don't know. Let's say 1,200. 1,200 times 10. How much is that? I think that should be 12,000, Abby. Okay. 24,000 bags. Now, lie you. But let's assume that it is true. Okay. So, according to this guy, Kip Numbu is sending 20 truck of uh, rice to each state. Okay. Which is not true. Most of these are being sent to the core north, where they believe is, uh, what do you call it, is the fourth line. She fourth line, yeah, the fourth line. Uh -huh. Those of you who are in the electrical line, yeah, fourth line. It's a part, once you cross up, like the middle of the earth and everyone, the sky and the, the earth. I don't know. So that is where they are loading the food to. Even if they send all of the 24,000 bag of rice to the northern Nigeria, I don't think it will be that effective. But I remember telling you all here that if you ask Tifnubu and his gang, what is their economy policy? The economy policy of APC is to when people are jobless, then they will share food to them. When people complain of not having money, they will share money to them. And according to them, this money will be used in the economy. I don't know if you have been paying attention. That is your theory. Share money to small, small people. Okay? And if all of them begin to have a turnover, yield around, the economy will just kick start and all of that. Anyway, here, from uh, their meeting in Abuja. Sorry, when it becomes boring, I'll stop it and I'll go to another one. I'll stop it again, okay? But I just wanted to hear him what they are promising like Julians so that they won't protest. Eight council meeting of the year 2024 and uh, a number of issues were, were discussed. But before I go into the deliberations at the council meeting today, I want to inform you that council had a minute silence in honor of uh, Alhaji Ahmed Mohammed uh, Agusaw, a member of the Free Executive Council 2007 to 2008 during the regime of President Umaru Musa Eradua. He was Minister of State for Mines. Uh, he passed on on the 25th of May, 2024. And the Friar Executive Council observed one minute silence in his honor. 
we pray all for the repose of his soul. Now, the council deliberated on the state of affairs in our nation, especially the issue of uh, our food supply and shortage of food on the table of many Nigerians. And after exhaustive deliberation, the Minister of Agri had earlier been directed to ensure that uh, food is being made available to Nigerians. And uh, the understanding is that about 20 trucks of rice has already been supplied to each of the states of the Federation, including the Federal Capital uh, Territory. Each of the trucks, of course, is carrying about 1,200 uh, bags of 25 kg rice. This is part of the measures that government is taking, in addition to so many other ones, to ensure that the hardship being experienced by Nigerians is drastically being ameliorated. So for recap, each of the state governors has received 20 trucks of rice for onward distribution to the most vulnerable. This is a first step, and government will continue, the federal government will continue to support all the state governors, the local government, all the subnationals, so that the hardship being experienced by most Nigerians in terms of shortage of food supply uh, is breached. New Zans, Lily. I told you. Ah, after ex I mean, exhaustive discussion and deliberation, Mr. President uh, told the uh, uh, Greek minister to just go give food to the state. So each governor of the 36 states in Nigeria has received. 20 trucks of uh, 25 kg bag of rice. So which means 1,200 per truck, 600 bags of very uh, 50 kg. So we have to cut it down then. So we can now say a 50 kg bag of rice of 12,000 12, bag of uh, rice is to feed the hungry Nigerians. And if we have to go by that theory, the man with taxation and statistics will not go chop. How do you think 145 million Nigerians living in multi-dimensional poverty, how do you think they will share 12,000 bag of uh, 50 kg rice. Any idea? Do you remember that a month ago, because of this hardship talk, Sifnubu said they have approved 300 billion naira and they were going to give 11 million, of, no, so they were going to give 7.5 million of you, 50,000 naira each, a month ago. Ah, APC must feel like, I mean, Nigerian politicians generally, they must feel like, or they must know that they are the luckiest in the world alone. Some of you have already dropped out of school. You can't go back and you won't be going back. But they told you, uh, what was that? They told you that you would, you would have a student loan since July 2023. Well, the issue with there right now is not even about student loan or anything anymore. It's about food, Abby. I mean, at least that's what I experienced on the streets, asking people. Take a look at this one. 
Now, what you do for now, you do the go say fight, you don't have to make everybody kill ourselves, go the big man, the poor man. Because how good they for this country? Would they come up from money tonight? Nothing come out. Would they come out so they go? I myself, I have my way, my brother. I will pick a gun and go for war. You because go for which war you want to go for? Anyway, if I do it, I say a key. If I put a gun, I bomb there. Not to, not to slaughter them. <laughs> eh? We know play make them they alive. Not to wipe out those eh, all these illegal Ogoni people. They work for all these Niger, Nigeria. The president you know? himself and the governor. Oh! The politicians, all those big politicians, they should bring them and slay them. Okay. They should kill all of them. That's how we hold them accountable. Because we are killing them. Yes, they should bring our money, let them die. Okay. They are of no use to Nigeria. People are saying this Tinubu better pass. I said nothing, all of them. All of them. They should bring all of them and kill them. They are of no use to Nigeria. That thing that happened to Ghana, let it happen to Nigeria. All right, thank you. Thank you, Angie. You say hunger too much. Hmm. Hunger, come on, Gary, where first we go carry Gary put for water drink. Gary calls. Gary low, low calls. He shot everything, nothing there, no man. Na bitterness. Na bitterness with the bitter because. You can imagine now, look in the market now, nobody's selling, nothing. Imagine one cup of garden nice, 300 nada. A cost of garden, they buy one for 1,000. Nice, 4,000, 5,000 nada. There's nothing to celebrate now. That's why they're celebrating bitterness. Because all the only, all the things where Tinibu they rule, all the things is bitter, bitter. Now you turn us back to uh, Egypt. These are the girls going to Israel, they cannot go back to Egypt. Do something else. You cannot control Nigeria. Nigeria is bigger than. Mr. President, if you know Nigeria is bigger than Mr. President, and Mr. President is old, is old enough, is old enough. They cannot control this country. Old age is worrying. Uh, old age is disturbing him a lot. Eh? Look at how can somebody come out in public to address him before you know he fell down and say he's Buga. He called himself a Lagos boy. My grandfather is calling himself a Lagos boy. Is it do? Please tell the Mr. President, say we in River State here, but I can't. We are pleading for him to go and look for something else. Do go and relax himself. Let somebody take over that seat. I'm trying to consider Boyd and Tinibu because Tinibu is a coward. He's a bastard. The old man is weak. He's weak, older than his brain. The brain is shaking. He doesn't know how to handle the country. He went and picked vampires, people like wicked them. The people that have, uh, they are monsters. They are not, don't have, they are not having a godly mind in their heart to come and rule. So they are not qualified to be our leaders. All these people are monsters. They are demons. I hate them with passion. What is the solution now? Make Tinubu come out. Yeah, the, the solution is that we brought a person that will revive Nigeria, being P2B. They refuse. Now, look at where they're taking us to. Where Nigeria is going, everything is collapsing because P2B was a God sent, and without P2B, Nigeria is, going, is not going to improve. Yeah. Tinubu step down, Mark, because they will divide Nigeria. Oh, okay, God, even to cut this matter short, eh, the right way to fix it. <laughs> For our village, all here, everywhere. Now, he would buy a uh, fuel. People say Buari, uh, Tinubu better pass Buari. How? Who talk that How? thing? How? Who be that Mumu? Who know when say Buari go over come back? Who for more they manage Buari? But the best uh, option will be vote when they don't give us, like they prepare us. Okay. Yeah? Just look at Abia State, that they are managing their economy, they are enjoying from the day that the uh, Labour Party guy entered. This is moving fine. Go to Abiana. They have walk on the road. Yeah? Okay. Steady walk. Let's give us your reaction. I will go away with the leaders of them for our system. Nothing come out again. Everything. Don't become wars. You know if you buy Ogoro again. Come on, go Ogoro say for ten couple no them. For uh for revolution to take place. Uh thank you very much. I think uh Kenya and Nigeria there's a big difference. Number one, the population of Kenya and Nigeria are not the same. Number two, the, the tribal, tribalism that is in Kenya and Nigeria is not the same. So uh, if you believe that what is happening in Kenya can work in Nigeria, it is foul. It, it, it cannot happen. And Nigeria is a wealthy country that always, whatever condition they see themselves, they are satisfied that condition. They don't try to kill each other. Only now, nah, what you do for now? You do the go say fight, don't happen. <laughs> That's on the street, okay? But well, let's go back to that liar. Maybe these guys can see him and what he's promising. They said they are doing CNG buses or CNG for cars. 
listen, if it's too expensive for you to uh, fuel your car or your tricycle, you can take it to some centers. It is part of uh, the subsidy remover. It's cheaper uh, to use gas to power your car than use uh, fuel, okay, which is also gas in America. In their efforts, in their mumu efforts, to try to dissuade you from hitting the streets as it is currently be, I mean, as it is currently uh, brewing. Let's go listen to him again, just briefly. Thursday, I recall that this was already what uh, the labor unions requested during their meeting with Mr. President last week. So the president is in agreement. He knows that uh, the labor wants to quickly uh, finalize this issue of minimum wage. And the government is also anxious to put the issue of minimum wage behind him. So it is expecting that uh, the Nigerian Labor Congress, Trade Union Congress, and all their affiliates, as requested by them last week, will meet the president on Thursday. And after which, the president will now transmit whatever the final agreements are or what his views are on the tripartite committee's report to the National Assembly for legislation. Now, in all, the Federal Executive Council took note of some of the uh, complaints amongst Nigerians, some of the issues raised in terms of transportation, in terms of food crisis or food uh, 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 shortages in many homes in, in, in around the country. And the Federal Executive Council is ramping up all that needs to be done to ensure that food is being put on the table of most Nigerians. So what government is doing now is just the necessary first step to ensure that supplies are made available to Nigerians through the state governors. I have told you earlier that 20 trucks of rice already has reached the state governors. All the governors have already taken delivery of that. And government will continue to work to ensure that food is made available. This, of course, is in addition to the effort that government is making in terms of fertilizer supply, which is already also uh, being processed. Most of the governors will also have support. Recall that the Central Bank of Nigeria had earlier made available over 2.1 million bags of associated fertilizer to the Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security for onward distribution uh, to these states. Uh, so that is also uh, in progress. And the federal government will do everything that it can to ensure that we have more food for our people. Investments in ag the agricultural sector is ramped up. And you also know that the Federal Ministry of uh, Livestock Development that was announced by Mr. President will also uh, take off very soon. So these are some of the measures and some of the discussions that we I have about six questions. Let me deal with that. Uh, the first one is on, uh, from John Bosco on the uh, of Vanguard on the minimum wage. You asked whether, uh, whether figures were discussed. No. Um, I, I think it is the, the general parameters and the general principle of the minimum wage itself. And like we have said here uh, severally, the federal government is not uh, in opposition to wage increase. The president and the federal executive council and the federal government are not in opposition to the concept of wage increase. The issue has been a wage increase that is um, that we can defend, uh, meaning um, a wage increase that will not lead to inflation, a wage increase that not just the federal government but the subnationals and the organized private sector um, are able to pay, and something that is also uh, sustainable 
I recall that the president also mentioned last week that because of the fact that he is not in opposition to the issue of wage increase, he has even asked that instead of waiting for a whole five years before wages are reviewed, he has given or he has mulled the idea that we can actually look at these wages between two to three years so that if there are gaps, we don't have to wait for five years uh, for those gaps uh, to be closed. So it's not, it's, the discussion is not around the figure itself. It's about the general parameters and the general principle of the world. New Zans, Lelegi. New Zans, Lelegi. Don't ever forget. Everything he's saying is a lie. But did you hear when he said they were having conversation about a minimum wage? Steve Nubu met with the labor. And they said, did they discuss about figures? What is the minimum wage? What have they been talking about? 62,000 or 250,000. Are those not figures? But he said, no. And because you have been listening to their lies, eh, you will continue to fall into the basket or, or the pit or the hole of a poverty. When you listen to criminals like that, it is not really hard to tell, but a lot of you just want to kind of make that thing true, like make lies true so bad eh, that you will defend any lie. And then you get disappointed. And then you repeat it again and again. Sometimes, eh, if you don't know, say, uh, Something has happened to Nigeria. Eh? Even me, I believe I know enough that something has happened to Nigeria. But when I saw the video of Abija Warabi eh? on TikTok, Abija legend, when they do tapi, 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 ta, ah, I believe with guys like that, eh? with these criminals like this, a lot of people grow old. Eh? And possibly may not even have a chance like Abia. I'm ascending and insane, Larry Larry, who do become essential. I'm ascending. Oh, I only tell Larry Larry, oh, Nancy could that there, Larry Larry. Oh, Buddha, that will go to Bo. Oh, Buddha, that will go to Bo. Oh, Bobby, I want back and back and to one Buddha that you want for more who soon dishonor. Or more would judge your cock and Larry Larry or can it get your cool way? Lari lari, a boy who netoria dagba home meto si ataria gagara saga meta ntope. Lari lari, jaja loko obu obu jaja. Lari lari, jaja la dagbo obu jaja. Lari lari, ira afari uni wo lai gutu tu. Lari lari, put your send your account in your see comment comment section. Eh, uni ori ya kanzi ba balemba, mudu balo wole ulari lari uni toro jau. Oh, uni toro mu. Ba lai no ni kese na account number. The real Ibalaye, the book of law, you were in the Toro Jay, the Toro Mu. Who are Who are comment section? Who are comment section? Larry, Larry, the book of law, Leo. And I got to send you. Who do you know? Who do you know? Toro Jay. These ones are like legend. Eh? If they happen to be probably Americans. He will live for the rest of his life. He doesn't have to be rich. He is a legend. We grew up. He was one of those who shaped our minds that people can fly or disappear or command. And some of us, those are our own uh, power rangers when we were growing up. Where the power you live, you can do anything. You can speak and you know all of that. It was like a, a great, you know, a greater work of art. Nigeria is a place whereby the world is already already rigged against you. Fair enough. The modern one have to kind of uh, make use of the today's uh, technology to to make even, you know. But suddenly, I mean, I'm like, I mean. It's not that bad, so to say, you know, but Abijawarabi, 
ah, Lori TikTok, the send account number me. Those to people like us who grew up uh, in the 80s, in the 90s. Eh? That's one of the shock that we never believe we grew up to see. We've seen war, so sure you get, but it is what it is because criminals like this are in charge of government in Nigeria. Liars like this. Let him finish what he's saying. Um, um, uh, there's a question about, uh, from Larry Lassisi, I think, about rice. Now, because of the urgency of the need to have food available to all Nigerians, government has already taken this very proactive step to ensure that this rice is available, uh, and not just available, this rice is already being transported to the various states. The state governors are already in receipt uh, of this rice, and this is uh, tied to the question that uh, Ubale from uh, DW asked, that you know, perhaps this appears small. Yes, it is, and government is not saying that by this supply it is solving.